How's it going? It's LB The Realist. You tuned in to Surrealistic Studios. Um, I guess I should give a little background um, of who I am. Um, like I said, my name is LB The Realist. That's what I go by. I'm from San Diego, California. 28 years old. And uh, I really just got into politics fairly recently. Um, probably the middle or a little bit before the middle of Sanders' campaign, like right when everyone's just started noticing him, that's when I caught on. And I've been paying attention ever since. Um, I used to watch CNN and Fox News, MSNBC and ABC News a lot um, until I caught on and realized that they, they, they were basically bullshitting the whole time. They were basically uh, favoring candidates. They were monopolizing the airwaves with Donald Trump talk 24-7. They were consistently just not doing their jobs and reporting on the stuff that needs to be reported on. Instead, they gave Donald Trump free publicity in the range of millions of billions of dollars. So I basically stopped watching mainstream media maybe about a year ago or something like that i mean i do i do tune in every now and again just to see what kind of bullshit they're saying because i believe that you should sort of you know how they say keep your enemies close or keep your friends close keep your enemies closer that's what i'm doing i see them as the enemy because they don't tell the truth and they're basically uh corrupted by money. So I, I pretty much made the journey from mainstream news to alternative news. Um, some of my favorite channels include Secular Talk with Kyle Kalinske, um, TYT with Jank Ugar and um, Anna Kasparian. I love Jimmy Dore. Um, I love the new progressive voice. Um, I love Tim Black. <laughs> Tim's cool. Um, H.A. Goodman, that's my dude right there. Um, um, you know, I watch Redacted Tonight, RT, Real News, Real Progressives. Um, of course, Debbie channel, Debbie's channel, same progressive. Uh, Veracity and Defiance. There's a lot of channels out right now. I mean, there's not a lot of them, but there's a few good ones. There's a few really good ones. I recently unsubscribed to David Pakman. Um, I might subscribe back, so I'm not sure. I'm, I'm kind of un unclear about David Pakman at this time. Um, and who did I? Who else did I unsubscribe to? Ah, uh, I can't remember at this time. But there have been a few channels that uh, during the whole Bernie campaign, they were just. They seemed, they seemed one way at first, and then as soon as, you know, it started getting down to the wire, they kind of changed up their tunes, and they started going against Bernie Sanders and third parties, and it was just kind of, just kind of weird. So I unsubscribed. Um, I I describe myself as a progressive. That's why I'm I'm attracted to these more progressive channels like uh, uh, TYT and Secular Talk. I know a lot of people don't view. TYT is progressive or they don't like TYT they feel like I don't know they're they've been co-opted or they feel like Jank is not really a progressive but like I said in my previous videos TYT they have a lot of different um trains of thought I mean they have different opinions is what I mean to say like Jank doesn't always agree with Anna and Anna doesn't always agree with Mike and vice versa um even Jimmy Dore is a part of TYT and he forever has disagreements with them so just for him, and he and he even has his own show on TYT called Aggressive Progressives. What does that tell you? They don't always share the same beliefs, but they're able to still come together and, and, and work together. You know, it's, it's okay to have different perspectives. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So, I mean, yeah, I just started watching those channels and they keep me pretty informed. Um... I've been watching this race, like I said, since Bernie Sanders ran. 
And after he after he figured out he wasn't going to win and he basically threw in a towel, I, I, I switched my support over to Joe Stein with the Green Party. And I had thoughts on wanting to join the Green Party, but how my brain works, I always have reservations. I, I think and I overthink and I overthink that thought. So it's kept me out of a lot of trouble in life. I'll tell you that much. It's kept me out of a lot of trouble in life. But at the same time, it kind of prevents me from moving as quickly as I want to move. Put it like that. But um, I'm coming from the perspective of somebody who was never into politics before. And he saw Bernie. I saw Bernie Sanders, and ever since then, he he lit a fire under me. And I've been I've been going pretty hard in politics ever since then. I ended up joining the uh, the uh, San Diego Young Progressive Democrats Club for a while. Back before the whole thing happened with Bernie Sanders in the primaries, that is, um, at the DNC and everything. Um. And then after that whole thing happened, I, I basically just stopped going because I just kind of felt, um, I guess, out of place. I mean, there were some nice people there. Don't get me wrong. There were some very nice people there, but I don't know. There just wasn't a, a real good connection, you know, um, especially everything that went on. I didn't really want to be associated with anything Democrat, just to be perfectly honest. I know I got a red tie on, but don't get it twisted. <laughs> Not a Republican. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I've been into politics ever since, and I'm trying to get more people into it if I can. I think there's a job for everybody. My mother always tells me it takes all kinds, right? So if it takes all kinds, then we have our channels that we go to for real progressive news. You know, they give you the cut and dry facts, the numbers, you know, that's secular talk. You know, um, you got your TYTs, your Sam Cedars and Majority Reports and your Humanist Reports. That's another one I left out. Humanist Report. I mess with Humanist Report heavy with Mike. But, you know, we got your channels like that that report straight news, straight facts, straight numbers. Me, I'm more of a channel that's going to report the real to you. I'm going to give you my real perspective and my thoughts and opinions on the matter. Coming from somebody who was never really into politics until recently. See, I can give you guys a different perspective from somebody who's just coming out the ghetto or somebody that's in the hood, you know, because I've lived in different areas and I, that is where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? So I'm able to thank God I'm able to think past my environment because a lot of people my age and my situation are not thinking about this shit. They don't give a shit. You think they care who the next president is? They may tell you they may tell you that they care like, oh, yeah, fuck Donald Trump, you know, this and that and the other. But at the same time, nobody really gives a fuck like. It's just the president. We've had racist asshole presidents before as far as we're concerned. And it is what it is. He ain't nothing new. All he does is wear it on his sleeve just a little bit more than the rest. Maybe a lot more than the rest. Okay, I give you that much. Maybe a lot more than the rest. But to the to the ghetto, I mean, I know politics does affect us. And that's why I'm into politics. But to the average person out the hood, he's not he don't he doesn't care about this shit. And that's one of the things that I'm trying to change. I want to. Maybe be a beacon of light for other people that are like me to see me and see my example and be like, you know what? He's got a good head on his shoulders. He, he, he knows about some things. You know, he stays informed. He's well informed. That's what I want to be. I want people to see that and I want them to gravitate towards the light. You know, stay informed. Question everything and then question it again until you're until you're sure, you know, because the person who says they know everything doesn't know a goddamn thing at all so that's what i'm trying to do that's my goal um so if you like what you hear if you like what you see go ahead and press the like button subscribe 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 to get more content i'm gonna try to bring content as much as i can but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bring you fake news i'm not gonna bring you clickbait i'm not trying to i'm not doing this for attention i'm just doing this to further the cause as many pro progressive voices as we can get out there the better as many youtube channels and youtube videos i inspire i want everybody if you have even the slightest inclination to make videos do it do it and talk about progressive issues talk about the cause talk about what we need to accomplish because the more we voice it the more audience will gain the more we can all come together and that's what the goal is to come together let's all be light that's all attract light and spread light, all right? And in that light, 
that will be the realest out.